OJ Porteria's strike gave the Azcals their first win against the home Myanmar mm-hmm. side. Uh, but overall, you've got to say that the Philippines were pretty lucky to get any result mm-hmm. against Myanmar the way the game went. Um, Misa, uh, you didn't get to play the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was just a uh, whole oh, guest yeah. there. Yeah, officially, yeah. apparently, you were injured, though. You played with Global, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, you just wanted to wear the scarf, I'm sure. No. Injured for national team, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, uh, from, yeah. a, from a place perspective, um, how did the game go for you? What can we learn from it, and what can we take from the game? For me, uh, the game was okay because, of course, Myanmar did very good job, and of course, Neil Etheridge saved a lot of mm. uh, yeah. chances and ball. And this is football. At the end of the story, they will say who won, who, who mm. lost. But mm. because uh, we had, they had one shot, few shots mm-hmm. from Philippine, of course, and we had few chances. And OJ Porteria finished very good, mm. uh, very good job, and he scored a very nice goal. But they yeah, must be said that was a great shot. The mm-hmm. swerve on that mm-hmm. was, was brilliant. That's what Ron fought the keeper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Absolutely. But <coughs> the thing is, uh, we have to work harder a little yeah. bit. I think in that because sometimes we don't, we don't have to <coughs> wait for the chances to come. You understand what I mean? We have to be when we go there, we beat them like already three zero, two zero. Because nowadays we have a lot of good players. Mm-hmm. We really need to prove the way Philippine football improving. National team also will pr- improve, and especially those. Players who are based here in the Philippines, Mm-mm. they can play together most of the times as a, in the team. And they, when they have a national duty, they, it's easy for them to be you know, band together mm-hmm. and play together as a team. So it was a, it was a mm-hmm. good game, but yeah. Um, from a coach's <laughs> perspective, um, one of the biggest problems for the Ascals was the, the, the defensive line. Only Bob mm-hmm. Gear was a natural defender mm-hmm. in there. Uh, particularly, the, the Burmese would exploit Manny Ock because he was playing at right back, he's normally right. an attacking midfielder. Yeah. Um, how apparent was it that the defence weren't used to playing those positions? And for yourself as a coach, would you normally play uh, a better player out of position or a player who is comfortable in that position who might not be as good as, as the other centre midfielder for example? I think as, as a coach, I mean obviously Coach Weiss is, is was limited in what he had with the, the, mm. the personnel, you know, so you've got to really try and, I mean, be the same situation when we played our first league game, we had to play players out of position and, and you, you've only got, you've got what you've got and you have mm. to adapt to it and, and obviously Jason Dijon playing central defender, he's more a midfielder and you mm. say the mm-hmm. midfielder playing right back, so that's not, that's not an ideal position to be in, getting into an international <coughs> game because international games now, there's no easy thing, it's an in, easy international game, you know, mm. every team's trying to develop and improve and, mm. Uh, and as Misa said, at the end of the day, you you pick up the newspaper and you'll see Myanmar nil, Philippines one. You know, mm-hmm. it's, you can talk about missed chances and, and creating things, and and Myanmar obviously never took them. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the end of the day, OJ puts a, his chance away, and it's a it's a good result for them. So as I say, they're obviously looking to to improve the performances and everything else. But I think once they get their their full strength team back and the players in the right position, then it can only help them for the future. Mm-hmm. And uh, Nate, we might not have uh, mm-hmm. seen many of the, or, or known many of the Myanmar players, especially since right. uh, the Burmese didn't release anything about yeah, any yeah. of the players. There was no, there so was no <laughs> list from, <laughs> yeah, 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 from absolutely. their team. Um, but we, th- from mm-hmm. the few players we do recognise, very few of them played in the Suzuki Cup. Yeah, Kyo Koko was back, yeah, but he was, he was not back. there in the Suzuki Cup. Yeah, And, and a lot of them were very, very young. Mm-hmm. Myanmar are really looking to, to build up their grassroots system. Um, what can you say about the way that, that Myanmar play football, the way that they're mm-hmm. really press, pressing the, the young players, especially ahead of the SEA Games? Right. Um, you're right in mentioning that they're very young. In fact, I think um, it's been mentioned somewhere mm-hmm. that um, the average age of the Myanmar side was 21, mm-hmm. which um, I would assume is really in preparation for, for, the, for the SEA Games. Of course, you can only play an under-23 side. Yeah. Um, well, they did waste their... Um, Chance in the Suzuki Cup, yeah. Um, I think they only came off with uh, they, they they didn't the win any. Yeah, Vietnam. yeah. Uh, there wasn't any win for for Myanmar in the mm-hmm. group stages. So I think the next um, the next objective for them really is to to get a result in the in the Sea Games yeah. and prepare um, a very young side uh, against potential um, opponents. For example, uh, the Philippines, of course, um, currently. Uh, we haven't really seen yet um, who will form our under 23s. So it's a uh, this this side's uh, someone to look out for mm. come 
the latter part of this year. Although it must be said, the the players available for the the Philippine team for the Sea Games do look really mm -hmm. good. I mean, we'll have players <coughs> like uh, Jeffrey Christian. Mm -hmm. A lot of global players will yes. be uh, available. Right. Angelis Twins. Yes. I think Reichel's still available. You've got a, a lot of really good quality players mm -hmm. in there. Um, and then, obviously, the next competition for the Ascals will be the Challenge Cup qualifiers. Yes. Next month. Um, yeah, in, in March, mm -hmm. uh, against uh, Brunei, Cambodia, Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. Uh, Misa, how, how are you looking uh, <coughs> to compare for that one? Especially with Turkmenistan being the best rated side in the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, because I remember last Challenge Cup we lost against Turkmenistan. 2-1, uh, one, one, one. Yeah, 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 the, the two the, goals in the last yeah. 10 minutes. Yes. yes, and we received two. We were leading up to 70 minutes. Seven, one, yeah, so uh, Turkmenistan minutes. is very strong, but mm -hmm. We have a lot of good players coming, of course, from abroad, and mm -hmm. this is very, ch this is uh, qualifying. So for sure, everybody will do hundred percent. Mm -hmm. And of course, Coach Hoyce has a lot of plans, which this coach side I don't know what about that, but of course he has a lot. We we will start training hard because we have two games are for. You cannot say they are not as strong because this mm -hmm. is football. You never know mm -hmm. what's gonna happen, but. I think one team only will be qualified for this That's one, right. and the target is to beat Turkmenistan. Right. And this is the hardest team that we have to play in this stage. So we'll see what's gonna happen, and hope we have a good. And we don't have any more international friendlies between this one and the qualifiers, right? Do we still they're have anyone to, in the yeah, they're, they're, they're looking to try and get two more uh, okay. friendlies. Okay. Yes, friendlies yes. And yeah. I don't know Nobody about this. Maybe yeah. they Nothing's just finalized. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. yeah, they're looking at doing that. Um, one of the reasons Myanmar did look good uh, in the friendly, mm -hmm. uh, for example, is that they finally settled on a coach. Mm -hmm. They went through about six or seven years replacing the right. coach after every year. It was a very short-term thinking process. Mm -hmm. The military junta there uh, <laughs> didn't really accept uh, failure very, very readily. Uh, but now they're their coach, the South Korean Park. He's mm -hmm. been there for just over a year and starting to build up a system with them. He's starting to get to know the players, the grassroots system. The reason I bring this up, uh, and especially it'd be good to get your opinion on this coach, is uh, I've got personally a lot of sympathy for Coach Vice's situation in the sense that technically he's sort of out of contract right now. Mm -hmm. The negotiations are still going on with the PFF. Um, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes which no one really knows for sure what's going on. Um, but given that you have a two-year contract and then someone offers you, after doing making a lot of history in that case, to be offered a six-month contract after that is um, it's, it's almost insulting. It, it's very difficult to, to work under that. The biggest problem for that, of course, is that if you only have six months to work with, you're only looking at the short-term goals. You're only looking at the, the next win and the next win. How much of an impact does that have when you're preparing for competitions, when you're looking at the grassroots system, when you're looking at that kind of the overall, the whole picture? Well, I mean, obviously, I, I wasn't aware of the, the situation. I mm -hmm. understand when I came to the country, I don't know what's been going on behind mm -hmm. the, yeah. the scenes and what's been discussed between their, their sales con. That's obviously a personal uh, issue, you know. But um, no, I mean, obviously, he's, he's been here for a couple of years and, and they've had some, some good success as well, you know. So mm -hmm. it'd be difficult for me to comment on because I don't know the full ins and outs of mm -hmm. it. I can see your point of view, obviously, what you're saying. It's whether they feel that progress has been made, etc., in that time. but. I mean, I mean the progress in the sense of like um, from a coach's perspective, how important is that security? Well, every, every, every coach wants his, as long as yeah. the time to, to do that, you know. And um, as you were saying, there's a lot of young boys coming through, and, and sometimes with young boys, they'll, they'll make mistakes. They'll give you mm. good energy and good enthusiasm, which I think my and my did. You know, you, you mm. can have so many young ones, but. Mm -hmm. I think to prolong that and just have young team, young team, young team, you really need to add a, a couple of experienced ones as yeah. well to help them, help them through. Mm -hmm. So, as, as I say, we've got quite a few <coughs> young ones in, in Global who are, who are in the, the Ascals mm -hmm. team and, and they're only going to get better as they learn and develop. So, yeah. uh, I mean, as I see, ask any manager, they, they want a, a long term contract, you know. So, but as I say, it's, it'd be rude of me to, to, to comment on that without being aware of the details. As coach says, there are a lot of uh, promising youngsters, not just in global, but the, the Ascals mm -hmm. as a whole. And so we look forward to see how, how that goes. Uh, maybe that was one factor in Miami, why they wasted so many chances. They didn't have the experience and the composure to, mm -hmm. to finish. Um, but, well, we'll be looking forward to the Challenge Cup and the, the friendlies that happen in between uh, until the qualifiers. Uh, so for all the updates, just follow us at FTW Sports.